hallelujah child of god good morning good afternoon good evening and even good night to you my dear brothers and sisters in our lord jesus christ of nazareth depending on where you are domiciled or reside in this part of the universe god almighty created and called it today is the 29th day of august in the year of our lord jesus christ 2022 when god is with you i welcome you to today's ministration from the temple of restoration get ministry stockholm sweden as anchored by my humble self your servant apostle prophet high altar emmanuel in today's solution hour a child of god called from nigeria and he said apostle there has been news around the corner of the elevation of a bishop from Anambra State in the name of uh, Cardinal Ebere Opaleke to the status of being a cardinal by Pope Francis in Rome on the 27th day of August, two days ago. Can you please explain a little bit what they mean by that and who is the cardinal in the Holy Roman Catholic Church? On behalf of Restoration Get Ministry, we want to congratulate the latest prince of the church, His Eminence Peter Ebere Opaleke. Peter Cardinal Peter Ebere Opaleke will be the fifth cardinal Nigeria has ever produced since the inception of uh, Holy Roman Catholicism in that part of the world may god almighty who is always with you his eminence continue to be with you to encourage you and to empower you to continue to carry out your duties and obligations as a prince of the church and as a cardinal the way you have been doing we congratulate you and we say long live his eminence permit me to give a brief biography of our latest cardinal peter ebere opaleke was born on first march 1963 in amich in anambra state you know, he happened to be a full of Pisces. I was born on the 5th of March, and he was born on the 1st first, first of March. From this date, which means that he is 59 years old, one of the youngest cardinals. May God bless you and be with you all the rest of your reign as the prince of the church maybe a pope is in making because it will not be a bad thing for an african to become the pope for once in this dispensation america did it with obama and i hope someone like cardinal opaleke is qualified I can prophesy that it is going to be possible in the nearest future through Cardinal Ebere Peter Opaleke, and he will take the name of Peter. You know, the, the Vatican City, the, the, the foundation of Vatican City was laid with the blood of Saint, Saint Peter, Peter the Apostle of Christ. Peter was killed in Rome and was buried in Rome. And it was within the grave of Peter that Vatican City was built because Christ Jesus said, 
for it is not body nor flesh that revealeth me to you, but my Father who is in heaven, for that you are rock, and upon you I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall never prevail. That is why Vatican City is called St. Peter's Basilica. And that is why the place that the Pope sits to celebrate as number one person in the Holy Roman Catholicism, who is the Pope himself, His Holiness, the infallible Pope, the Papacy, the seat where he sits to celebrate, when you trace it down, you will get to the grave of St. Peter. That's why it's called the Holy See, the, the seat of St. Peter. The foundation of the church. Because when Christ asked the apostle, who do people say that I am? The apostles replied, some said that you are John the Baptist, some said that you are Elijah, some said that you are Moses, some said that you are one of the prophets, but Christ said, okay, that's fine. But you who has been following me, who do you say that I am? All the apostles kept quiet because none of them want to answer the question and fail. But the Holy Spirit ministered to Peter, whom Jesus Christ was and is. And Peter said, you are Christ the Lord, the son of the living God. Ma, 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 ma. And Jesus was moved because he was surprised how Peter could get that answer perfectly well. Absolutely 100% correct. And Christ said, it is not body nor flesh that revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And because of this, you are the rock. And upon you, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall never prevail. That is why Catholic Church, being built upon Peter, becomes God's last defense on earth. And the Pope is the leader of this God's last defense on earth. If you are Protestant, no problem. If you are a Jehovah Witness, no problem. If you are Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, no problem. If you are Winner Chapin, no problem. No matter the denomination you are, you belong, redeem, Holy Ghost, Evangelical Mission, no problem. But you must recognize that Catholic Church is the mother of all Christians because it was Catholic that sacrificed during the Dark Age the blood of the martyrs. We are the seed of our faith. We are the seed that you can handle microphone today and talk about God in your ministry, in your churches, in your denominations. It was because Catholic Church fought with the powers and the forces that try to bring the word of God down. And the, the, people were murdered. People were killed. The matters, the matters blood were, 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 were the seeds of our faith. That's why sometimes when I see some denomination say, Catholic is this. There is no institution that is perfect. Don't quote me that I say that Catholic is perfect. There is no institution that is perfect. Even the commandment of God in the Old Testament, they were not perfect because some commandments that God gave to Moses for the Israelites were given out of the stubbornness of the Israelites. For example, when God gave them the instruction that if your wife is caught cheating, stone her to death. God gave the instruction because God knows the type of people that he was dealing with. 
in that present epoch. But when Christ came, Christ said, I have not come to abolish the laws of Moses, but I have come to fulfill them. And then they said, okay, what are we going to do concerning this? Christ said, God the Father has divorced. But for the divorce, you can give your woman a letter of separation not to kill her again. Christ re reformed this Old Testament law. So Catholic also continues to reform other churches that have come out of Catholic. CMS number one through Henry VIII. And from there, from there, the Lutheran church, the Orthodox churches, Martin Luther, he continued to the present time. You must recognize that God is one in three. That is the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Why am I saying this? Because the elevation of this Son of God, Cardinal Ebere Peter Opaleke, to the status of a Cardinal, makes him qualified to be the Pope. The only difference between the Pope and the Cardinal who is within the electoral ecclesiastical structure or stage or level of being elected to the office of the purpose is that the Pope himself is the Bishop of Rome while other Cardinals are bishops in different places. All of them are princes of the church, but the Pope is the leader of the cardinals, who is the Bishop of Rome. The elevation of this, our brother, the cardinal, have qualified him to be among those that can vow to become the Pope. And possibly, we can see an African or a Nigerian specifically become a Pope in the nearest future. So it is a thing of joy. And we say congratulations to the church in Africa as a whole, not only in Nigeria. And may God Almighty bless you. No matter the denomination you belong to, it is a thing of joy. May God bless you. He attended local schools and in 1983 entered the Bigard Memorial Seminary in Ekote Ebene and Enugu, where he studied philosophy and theology from 1983 to 1992. By this time, Ekote Ebene has not been turned into St. Joseph's Major Seminary because as at present, Ekote Ebene is St. Joseph's Major Seminary, why Bigard Memorial Seminary remains in Enugu, and then Seat of Wisdom Major Seminary, which is in Olaho in Oware. Amen. Where he studied philosophy and theology from 1983 to 1992. He was then a priest of the Diocese of Oka on 22nd August 1990. In the 20 years following his ordination, he, fe he filled a wide variety of pastoral and administrative positions, including university chaplain, parish priest, diocesan financier, administrator, diocesan chancellor and secretary, and member of diocesan boards. He also studied canon law in Rome at the Pontifical University of the Holy Cross. Hallelujah. On December 2012, Pope Benedict XVI appointed Opaleke Bishop of Ahara, Nigeria. Opaleke was consecrated as a bishop on 21st May 2013. Because of objections to his appointment, his consecration was held outside the diocese in the major seminary of Olaho in the Archdiocese of Owere. There was confrontation in Ahara Diocese when he was appointed the Bishop of 
I had a diocese. They gathered and said that they want an indigent to be their bishop, but this is not the right thing because the only voice that is above every other voice is the voice of the Pope, and it is the Pope and the college of the cardinals appoints a bishop to head a diocese. And when they have sent a bishop to you, you have no right to say no. So it was a mistake, whether they want to believe it or not, on the part of the clergy. And during this time, they were suspended, but along the line, it was reduced. But later, Bishop Opaleke decided to resign by himself. And Ekulobia diocese was, was carved out by Rome in Anambra State, and he became the first bishop of Ekulobia diocese. And today he is the cardinal that we are celebrating when God is with you. Amen. On 7 December 2012, Pope Benedict the 16th appointed Opaleke bishop of Ahera, Nigeria. Opaleke was consecrated a bishop on 21st May 2013. Because of objections to his appointment, his consecration was held outside the diocese in the major seminary of Olapo in the Archdiocese of Oware. This seminary at Olapo is called Seat of Wisdom Major Seminary. The Seat of Wisdom. And by the grace of God Almighty, I happen to be an alma mater to this Seat of Wisdom where I obtained philosophy, degrees, affiliate of Pontifical Urban University, Rome, and Imo State University, Nigeria. May you be blessed, child of God. Local clergy and parishioners objected to his appointment and prevented him from entering the cathedral in order to take possession of the diocese. A petition objecting to the fact that Obaleke was not of the area's Mbise ethnic origin was sent to Pope Benedict after he appointed Obaleke bishop on 9th June 2017. Pope Francis gave clergy in the diocese 30 days to either write a letter promising obedience and accepting Obaleke as their bishop or be suspended. Clergy sent letters of apology but continued to protest what they saw as racial discrimination. On 19 February 2018, Pope Francis accepted Opaleke's resignation as Bishop of Ahira. On 5th March 2020, just over two years after accepting his resignation as Bishop of Ahira, Pope Francis appointed Opaleke the Bishop of the Diocese of Ecolobia, a newly created diocese in Anambra State, which formerly had its territory under the jurisdiction of Oka Diocese. Opaleke was installed there on 29th April 2020. Pope Francis made him a cardinal on 27th August 2022, assigning him to the rank of cardinal priest with the Tutulia Church of St. Martin's del Uganda, a Pajo Amano. This is wonderful. Child of God, you are all over the world. You who is under the influence of this telecast, when God is with you, there is nothing that can be against you. May God Almighty be with you and continue to protect you and continue to bless you and shower his blessings upon you. For when God blesses you, no one can cause. Wherever you are listening from, May God Almighty elevate you. May God Almighty uplift you. May God Almighty settle all your worries by the power of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Once more, congratulations, His Eminence, Cardinal Peter Eberechuku Opaleke, the latest Cardinal of the Church. I remain your humble servant, Apostle, Prophet, I, Author, Emmanuel of Restoration, Get Ministry, saying from Stockholm, Sweden, Shalom. In nomine Patris, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus, Secuterat in Principio, et Nuke Sempe, et in Secula Seculorum. Amen. Dominus Vobiscum, 
Etcon Spiritu Tu, Gloria in a chesis, Deus, Amen, 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 Amen.